In today's lesson, we'll be looking at the circulatory system and the respiratory system and the role that they have in helping our bodies function as they should. The circulatory system, you may also hear it referred to as the cardiovascular system, but it has a very important job, and ultimately that job is to move blood throughout our bodies. This blood's so important because it acts as almost the highway, so to speak, that carries the oxygen, the nutrients, all the things to our cells that they need to survive and to carry out the life functions in order for our bodies to work as they should and for us to stay alive and healthy. At the center of the circulatory system is the pump that makes everything work, and that's our heart. And the heart's what we call an involuntary muscle. It's not something we have to think about to make it work. It constantly beats throughout our life, and it's controlled automatically by our bodies. And every time the heart beats, it's actually pumping blood through our veins, our arteries, our capillaries to the individual cells to give them the nutrients and to give them the oxygen and other things that they need to survive. As the blood travels, it's traveling through blood vessels to deliver the things that it brings, the oxygen, the nutrients, and the blood also has an important job of removing waste from the cells. Our body has three different types of blood vessels in it, and those are the veins, which carry the blood to our heart, the arteries, which carry the blood away from our heart to the cells, and then we have what's called capillaries, and these capillaries are tiny little blood vessels that branch off all throughout our body. They're so small that many of them we can't even see, but they actually carry blood to the individual cells in our bodies. So these capillaries, even though we don't see them and we don't think a lot about them, they're very, very important. The blood itself is not just a red liquid. It's actually made up of several different components as well. And each of these different parts of our blood has a different job that it does for us. We actually think of our blood as a red liquid, but the liquid portion of the blood is what we call plasma. And it's actually more of a clear liquid that actually transports things through our circulatory system. The red blood cells are what gives the blood its color. And the red blood cells have a very important job, and that's the job of transporting nutrients and transporting oxygen to our cells. Uh, the red blood cells will actually contact every cell in our body. They'll essentially drop off this oxygen, and they also remove waste. They'll take away carbon dioxide, which is what we exhale when we breathe out, but that's removed from our body to our lungs by the red blood cells. Another type of blood cell is the white blood cell, and white blood cells also have a very important job. They fight infections and diseases in our bodies. The final part of the blood that we want to talk about is what's known as blood platelets, and when we look at them, they almost look like little sea urchins or something, but their job is to cause blood to clot. If you cut yourself or scrape your knee or something, you'll bleed for a little while, but then that bleeding will stop because the blood platelets actually kind of link together to form a barrier to keep us from bleeding when we shouldn't. As we mentioned earlier when we talked about the red blood cells, it is important to remember that the circulatory system, even though it's a transport system to take things to our cells, it also transports things away from our cells. So the circulatory system is also constantly working to transport waste from the cells to the kidneys so that we can remove it from our bodies. The second body system we're going to talk about today is the respiratory system, and I like to include this in the same lesson because of the fact that the respiratory and circulatory systems work so closely together to do their jobs. We'll see throughout this unit how many of the different systems in our body are interconnected and dependent on one another. When we talk about respiration, it's maybe a big word, but basically all it is is just the idea of breathing. When we breathe in, when we breathe out, that's respiration. Every time we inhale air, we breathe in air into our lungs, we're taking in the oxygen out of the air, which is what our cells need to survive. And every time we exhale or breathe out, we're getting rid of that waste, that carbon dioxide that's produced by our cells. The respiratory system's made up of the main organ, which is the lungs, but also the pathways that lead to the lungs. Things like the trachea, the bronchi tubes that go through to deliver the oxygen from the air to our lungs where it can be absorbed into our blood. It is very important to remember though, as we mentioned earlier, how these two body systems are related. Even though our respiratory system is what's taking in the oxygen, it's actually the circulatory system that has that very important job of getting that oxygen to our different cells in our body. And as we exhale that carbon dioxide, that waste from our body, it's, the, again, the important job of the circulatory system to transport that waste from the cells back to the lungs so it can be removed. 
So it's very important not only to understand the function of the individual system, but also how these two transport systems work together to help our body and to help keep us healthy.